County received 10 elementary school waivers that, if approved, could bring students back to the classroom. Action News Now reporter Esteban Reynoso is live outside Shasta Elementary in Chico. And Esteban, how do teachers and schools feel about being uh, possibly being back in person? Alan, I spoke with the principal of Shasta Elementary School, which is actually right behind me, and he tells me how exactly the school is feeling about going back to in-person instructions, and the board says that this process is going to take some time, and as for the parents, they have mixed reactions about sending their children back to in-person classrooms. Um, I definitely miss my students, and I definitely miss the energy and the bustle of campus. A Chico Unified teacher I spoke with says this school year things feel completely different. I think that that'd be, it'd be really nice to get kids back on campus. I mean, when we walk on campus to start our day, there's nobody here. And uh, it feels pretty lonely. And uh, you know, I, I, I didn't get into teaching to, to have that feeling, you know. The fee waiver granted by the county is only for elementary schools, and those schools have to submit their own rubric on how to keep things safe. So when you're developing a plan, they actually give you some very specific things you have to talk about. In that. When this is, situation arises, what are you going to do? So there's a bunch of elements, and they're all kind of safety related. Now, if the application is accepted, that means we could start to see children back into classrooms like these. But being in a classroom during a pandemic means staying socially distant while wearing a mask. Parents in Chico have mixed reactions to possible in-person learning. Because kids need to be a part of socializing there and getting the teachers help and when you're online parents have to work they don't get the help they don't get the one-on-one -on -one attention grateful for the decision being a parent and an employee um, i think safety should be number one priority cusd says the parents play a big role in the application process we're going to start sending some surveys out and inviting them to a couple of zoom type meetings just to kind of check in with them and get their thoughts and chico unified staff are ready for whatever is decided I am on board with it if the staff and the parents want to bring the kids back with the right safety protocols, and we're going to make it happen. And if it's decided that they don't, then I'm okay with that. We're going to make the best out of the situation we're in now. Well, I also spoke with some other teachers off camera who told me that they're a little skeptical about returning to the classroom themselves. But when I visited here at Shasta Elementary earlier, everybody had masks on, hand sanitizer, and wipes were accessible. Live in Chico, Esteban Reynoso for Action News Now coverage you can count on. Thanks, Esteban. There are a total of 12 elementary schools in the Chico Unified School District. All of them can submit an application to enter modified in-person learning with